Now let's do some practice. Look at this magazine. Where can we find the contents page in this magazine? Is it at the beginning or at the end of the magazine? Yes, it is at the beginning. Contents page are usually on the first page or inside the front cover. How do we know that this contents page is from a magazine? Right, it's because we can see the dates of the issue and more details on the titles of the articles. Next question, how often is this magazine published? Right, we can see a date range of seven days here. From the 12th to the 18th of February, that's seven days. So this is a weekly magazine. What can we read about on page six? Let's take a look at the page number. We have two, three, five, seven. We cannot find page six, but we can see that this article starts on page five and ends on page six because the next article begins on page seven. So on page six, we can read about this article. Remember, the page number shows the beginning page of an article. Next, I want to find out about my favorite band CD. Where can I look? We know that a CD plays music. So here, under the section of reviews, people write about their opinions on films, which are movies, books, and music. So we can look under the review section for more information on the new CDs. Is this content page, is this the contents page of a book or a magazine? Right, we know this is from a book because there are chapters in the book. Magazines don't have chapters. Also, we cannot see the issue numbers here at the top corners. So this is a book. Next question. How many pages long is the chapter on incredible animals? So let's take a look. Incredible animals start on page 14. The next chapter, Unusual People, starts on page 20. So Incredible Animals goes from 14 to 19 and is a total of six pages. Today, we have talked about the different features of the contents page tax type. Now you may go ahead to work on the comprehension questions on page 9 of your book and worksheet 4. Bye-bye!